this is an SEO tutorial on system IO. And when you're sharing links on social media, for example, like you see right here, I'm sharing the landing page challenge. Sometimes when you share the link, this title is no good. And sometimes there is no image here, which just doesn't look as professional. Now I'm just going to do a demonstration where I'm going to send this to my virtual assistant. So you can see what it looks like right now. So the link I want to share is this landing page challenge. And then you'll notice whenever you go to the page, you click on settings and then you want to scroll to the very bottom. And then you'll see here the title, the description, the keywords, the author and the social image. Now, because this particular page, you want people to be able to see it, right? Because this is the initial page, the landing page. You want to always uncheck this. So it doesn't say hide from search engines. You want the search engines to see it. Now you'll notice that there is no social image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the social image. So you can see that this is the image that I've created and it's slowly downloading. So I'm going to call this landing page challenge checklist thumbnail. Okay. I'm going to go back, click on select file, go to downloads. Here it is. Paste it in or put it in. It will now upload slowly but surely. Here it is. Click on insert, click on save. Now here's what's going to happen. Assuming that I did all this correctly, you might think, Hey, now this is going to work, right? Now the thing is that even if you did that and you saved and it's all good, it's actually not going to work right away when you share it on Facebook. I'll show you demonstration. So I'm going to paste it in now. I've now done it all correctly. I'm going to paste it in and you're going to see it's going to look exactly the same like it does here with no change. Why is that? So here's what I'm going to do. You go to Facebook debugger and then you'll see the link is developers.facebook.com forward slash tools debug. So you would go there and then you will grab that link. And what you want to do is going to paste in the URL. You're going to click on debug and then you're going to see that it was you're going to click on scrape again. Now you'll see that it scraped the last time on the 6th of April. And then now it says scraped four seconds ago. Now you're going to see how it's going to look like. And I'm going to now go back and paste it in again. And you'll see that it's going to look totally different. So here it is. Now it's basically the way I want it. Now notice that the image that I actually uploaded is a square image, which is not the right image. So I'm going to need to do it again. So I'm going to go to Canva. I'm going to click on resize. Now, because this is a square, I'm going to need to do this a little bit different. And then obviously the width needs to be longer. So I'm going to make this, let's say like so copy and resize. And this is a little bit of a guess on the sizing, right? So um, I might have it a little bit wrong, but at least you'll know that it's, it's meant to be like, it's a thumbnail, like a YouTube thumbnail more so. So here it is. I'm going to move this up now. So let me just grab this stuff right here. Group it. I'm going to make this a little bit wider. I'm going to move this up put it here. It's a little bit bigger and I can make this bigger as well. Okay. And I can make this bigger if I want to, but now it's okay. Good enough. I'm not going to get into it too much yet. Okay. That's great. Now I'm going to export this one, download, do this one page specifically, download, give it a name, go back to the editor, click here, click on select file. This is the new one. Notice it's going to be different. Click on insert, click on save. Now I'm going to do this again, debug. And now look what it looks like. So now I'm going to do it again. And then you see now it looks perfect or the way I want it. Now, again, if you're not happy with this, you can always go back and change it, right? Like change text and all that stuff. And this is going to be applicable. So whenever you're sharing it on Facebook, it's going to look the way you want it. This is applicable, especially if you're sending DMS on Instagram, messenger DMS, or posting it on your social media. So you can always customize this a little bit further as well as you see fit. So again, you go to developers.facebook.com forward slash tools forward slash debug. And that's how you can uh, correct the SEO settings. Hope you got value from this tutorial. If you want to learn more about System IO, definitely check it out. I'm going to leave a link somewhere around here. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you got to do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the System page. You enter your email. 
you create a free account, take it to a test drive, and when you feel confident like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply $27 a month, or you can also get $197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System I.O., definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.